it's Tina with TNT Crochet Clippers where knit happens. Um, not a lot of knitting this time. Well, a little bit of knitting. I'm not going to say no knitting, but definitely a little bit. Um, so, lots of things. I was telling one of my new subscribers that this one's going to probably be a little bit all over the place. So, I'm so sorry in advance. And speaking of subscribers, wow, Allie. Ella from um, No Catchy Name, and then Allie from Miss Allie Makes, uh, both gave shout outs, and thank you, I love watching you guys too, let me tell you, you're fabulous, absolutely adore you both, um, I'm always making sure that, I, oh, and everyone who has been subscribing, I've been trying to subscribe to your channels, and I've actually been trying to watch them, because, you know, I... I, I just, this is my form of TV, <laughs> so I do watch a few TV channels, not really, no, I really don't watch actual TV, I usually do like the Netflix and YouTube, that's it, that's the expanse of my watching abilities, so again, it's going to be all over the place, I apologize in advance, welcome new visitors, and welcome back to all my viewers who have already seen my show and <laughs> bear with me to keep on going. Um, so, where to start? So you know I'm a little advent crazy. Totally advent crazy. I do love advent. I love the whole thing of it just probably because um, my dad was in the military and we were stationed in Germany for a while, and then as an adult, I was stationed in Germany for a little bit. And I just love Christmas in Germany. I mean, I love Christmas here in the States, don't get me wrong. But the advent calendars kind of got me hooked there, especially that chocolate. Let me tell you, those chocolate advent calendars, ah, oh, they're the bomb diggity. But I once, it was actually kind of interesting because I saw... Something for someone doing, okay, now, I'm not going to lie, I like gin. And so, I was on YouTube, and someone had mentioned, like, an ad, I, you know, like, you know, in your um, homepage, you'll get all these suggested things. Well, during Christmas, I saw Advent, and it was an Advent calendar <laughs> for gin. So, I was like, wow, that's kind of interesting, and I'll admit a little cool because <laughs> I like gin. But then I was thinking, hmm, I like yarn a lot more. <laughs> so I was like, I wonder if they have yarn advent calendars. And so last year I tried to watch as many as I could find. And then it was interesting because some of the people that I did watch, none of them explained like how I could get these. Um, and I will tell you, I didn't really know a lot about Etsy, knew very little about eBay. If I had to do anything with eBay, I had to ask my sister-in-law because I was completely clueless. And no joke, she even, to the point where she had to get online with me and step by step help me through it. Um, again, thanks Steph for my new addictions. But, uh, so my yaw, you know, he yarns anonymous, um, it, it was inspired and ignited a long time. And last season, last year, when I was really wanting to explore more indie dye, I only found a few. And the ones I did find, it was more just hit or miss. So, and not to say everyone's into advent calendars, this is my y'all. This is my explosion. This is what makes me, you know, ignite and you know, it, it's what I like. Find what you like. If any of this inspires you, and it doesn't have to inspire you to want to, you know, buy an advent calendar. It could inspire you to just do something that you're interested in and go a little bit further with it. Maybe not as crazy as me. I have a tendency, as my husband says, to really just not go that inch, but go that 10 mile. You know, it's like not even just the inch into a mile. It's like the inch into like a 10 mile, 100 mile. It just goes crazy. So, yeah, because we got a lot of TNT in this house, let me tell you. So, I do have advent calendars. I have been collecting them. They've been coming in. 
I've been really, really good, because let me tell you, it's been really hard not to want to open every flipping one of them and just have my own little yarn party of minis. But I've been really good about it. Now, my advent calendars from Halloween, I have been working on those. Funny story, the hat that I want to do from Barbara um, Knitting I Love, she has this really cool advent hat, and it's done with um, minis, five gram, five gram minis. Now, it was designed for Christmas, so it's pretty much five grams of each color for 25 days. I have obviously got 31 days, and that's totally cool. And it's five grams where I had 10 gram skeins, so what I'm contemplating is a hat with matching socks. <laughs> Now, the funny thing is, is that when I went and looked at the pattern, because you know I'm trying to get better with that whole pattern thing, actually reading it and following it and you know, la da 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 da, I realized I don't have the right needle size. I have one of them, but I guess the initial ribbing that you start off with, I don't have that size needle. And so, I'm in the process of getting that in. So that's had to be put on hold. My, my uh, blamed under knit for that has to be put on hold. So, but I have been continuing with my other advent calendar with my witchy brew shawl. And I actually don't have it finished. It's finished in the sense that it is put together. But remember, there's a lot of color changes. So you can imagine what I'm going to be doing for several, probably several, oh, and this is a really good area. <laughs> Look at all of this. So I'm, my goal is not to want to chop this up in little pieces because it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love it. But I've got to find some way to find this soothing and meditating to sew on all these flipping strings. Oh, yep, here's another big bunch of them too. But I do like how it's turned out so far. I just have to sew them in. I'm going to give them a soak, and then I really feel like I need to do a very aggressive, because if you can tell, it's really kind of bunched together. And the goal, I believe, is to get it blocked. So where, I'm just going to show a quick example, where you have that nice stretch and get it nice and blocked and dried. Um, I'm not saying that I'm going to do this this well because it's probably not going to happen like that, but we're going to give it a go. This is my goal to have done by next week. Now we all have goals. It's kind of like, you know, that New Year's resolutions. It's in my mind. I have an idea. Hopefully it'll happen. If not, don't judge me, because I'm a pretty busy person, just like all the rest of you. But that's where I'm at with this. Now, if you remember, I did for Crochet Society, I want to say this was box two. The one that I did all the projects for, and I said, you know, I would definitely do majority of those projects again. But one of the things that I kind of, I don't know if anyone else, I'm sure probably a lot of people have thought to do this, but I really like these books. And there's another reason why. I feel like they can almost be like your mini journal of like when you were making it. And, you know, I do a lot of the stuff that I do so that, you know, later on in life, like when my grandmother passed away, we didn't really have a lot of those notes or anything about why she did things, what she did I'm sorry my daughter just snapped open a banana and literally broke the thing it, is. <laughs> and it was funny and, you know it's really hard when people do things off the camera and you're like you know you see it just a little bit and you just want to just crack up really bad that, that would be right right now so squirrel um, but I do like the idea of like the journals and not to say I'm always very good at any of that um, but this one I really got such a kick out of it thanks Sarah Jane awesome awesome month loved it um, so these have already been claimed they're pretty one's gone one's heading somewhere else 
Um, but I did do some journaling for it. And it's just a little note of like when I started the pattern, um, what I used. So like one of the, I'll just read this one just super fast. Love this pattern. Made two so far. And so far I do intend on making some more. I actually think it would be a really cute mobile. Like if someone was really into water and theme, you know, couldn't you just picture like a little child's mobile, mobile where, you know, it just hangs over the crib. And then I just said um, that I made one exactly as instructed through the pattern, but then I made one with all the scraps. And that was the one I even said here, which was my favorite. So I put the dates on here. I even in one section, oh, and I even kept the, the yarn labels just so I kind of knew what it was. I did put on here very soft and very splitty. So, um, probably not something I would use. I even put on here, uh, this yarn may be discontinued because I do know that the United States, that it was getting discontinued here. I also put on notes for each section that I did. I put a note in here that if you remember, I didn't just do the head warmer, I did the cowl that matched. I put in notes here. I actually even put in the notes of what I kind of did to make that cowl. So who knows, maybe one day one of my daughters might want to do it and they come across and go, hey mom, you remember how to do this? Well, yeah, because I wrote the notes for it. I even put in here, if you remember the basket I did, I actually, oh, that's what I wanted. Tim, can you go grab my basket out of my bag so that I can um, show them my little handle? So he's going to have to be back, but remember the basket. I also described in here how I modified the basket because I wanted that to be my sock basket. So I'm going to have him bring it back, but I thought this would be kind of a neat idea. You're not just keeping stuff, but see, so here is what I need. My little sock basket. You can probably see my underarm laying. <laughs> Anyways, so I have my socks in here. I have my needle holder, which is from yeah. Knitting I Love. I love this thing. It keeps it from, like, I can jiggle it, jiggle it, jiggle it, and my stitches don't fall off. But this fits a perfect cake. So, and I can hold it and crochet. Or not crochet. Well, I could crochet and knit with it. Because I could crochet socks if I wanted to, too. Because I have three books, don't I? Anyways, so this is what I did. And I kept notes of everything. So maybe at some point if I wanted to do these things again. I even explained, like, how far I, like, how many additional stitches I did. How far it was. So it was just nice to have these notes. Now I am working on... I want to say this is box three. I have started the cowl for this one. And I'm only to the center white portion here. So I'm still working on that. I've already finished the very large X stitches. So then I'm going to be moving into, I'm hoping next day or so, move into the purple. That's what's going on with that. There's that. Boy, we're kind of going through it all. I'm thinking I'm doing actually pretty good talked about the advent calendars. So, my grandson. Now that I've done those, oh god, I hate saying this word, origami, you know, the animal little stuffy things, I saw this and my grandson is really into like the superheroes. So, I have a goal. After I get done with his um, dinosaur, which he, you know, as we're getting the advent calendars in, he swears all of these mini skeins are going to make him a massive dinosaur. I'm like, no. And it, I feel bad because he keeps talking to his mom. Well, he doesn't, he kind of ignores his mom and talks to Mimi and says, you know, Mimi, is that my dinosaur yarn? And I'm like, no, no, I don't know what you're talking about, you crazy little child. Well, his mom says to him, well, why don't you talk to me? I'm learning how to crochet. And he just, he honestly looked at her and was like, yeah, Mimi, are you making my dinosaur? And I was like, that's so mean. And she, well, shh. 
she's actually making him, like, I'm making him a baby T-Rex, but she's making him a mama T-Rex. So I really, I'm hoping, because we have, our work schedules do not match at all. They don't mesh lately. And it's kind of a bummer because that's the time where me and her hang out and we crochet. Um, and I teach her and we work on projects together. So really the past two weeks when my schedule finally changed, we've not been able to do that. And it's kind of, kind of bumming me out. Um, so I thought of an idea and I was like, hey, I'll leave the instruction book with you and we'll FaceTime while I'm hanging out in the car or while I'm at Starbucks, wherever I am, and we will work on it together. So I really don't care if everyone sees me in Starbucks and I'm talking to my screen and I look frippin' crazy. I'm going to be making and doing this project still with my daughter. So hopefully we'll have some progress. I mean, we have, again, some goals. I'm hoping we can get at least to the, because right now we're still at the snout. It's a cute snout, but that's as far as we've gotten. So I really like to get to the, get through the head and the neck area within this next week. I know I just have so many goals. <laughs> well, let's see how many I actually get through. You never know. You know, I might get like a huge gumption and really do well with it. Probably not. But hey, I have hopes, I have dreams. We'll see what happens. All right. So, one of the things I was super ecstatic about, and I'm someone who, you can't spoil things for me, you know, when Crochet Society, when people start getting their boxes, that's, I'm all about, show me, show me what's in the box. I do not need to wait for mine, which I gotta say, I'm kind of bummed because I still don't have mine, and I've already seen people making things, so I'm so excited, I really want to get mine in. Well, with that being said... Um, one of the major ones that I really wanted for the advent calendar was Little Box of Crochet. Last year I wanted it. I really, but I just had so much doubt that I could not possibly do the projects. There was just no way. And I was just really apprehensive about it, but it was one of the boxes that I really wanted last year and I just, I just opted not to do it. My husband was like, well, why? And I said, well, I just don't know if I'd like all the patterns. I don't know if I really want it. And I don't know if it's something that I was willing to take that step for. Um, mostly because it is a book. You get a lot of stuff with it. And I felt like it was such a commitment. And I wasn't sure if I was up for the task. Where if I do the yarn advent calendars, it's yarn. I want to get around to it and get some ideas and go explosive on it. It's fine. But I felt like these, it was just such a possible, too big of a challenge for me. So my husband convinced me, he was like, well, is there any way that maybe you can just get the book that it came with? And I said, probably not. And he goes, well, have you looked into it? I was like, so we were back and forth, back and forth. Well, come to find out, dude was right. Amanda Bloom actually sells the book from last year. And so I had this. And I did get this, gosh, I want to say sometimes this past summer I got it. And it might have even been this past spring I did get it. Um, so I do have it from last year, but I'm my goal is, is I would like to do a few of these. I don't know how many. Um, I kind of want to wait for my daughter May to get home because I know she wants to do small projects as well. So I think this might be kind of something really cute for us to do. Doesn't mean that we're going to go from day one to 25. I think honestly we're just going to kind of pick and choose the ones that we want to do. But I do, like, I got to tell you, like some of these, I, I'm not even sure if I could do them. Like, it, there's a flipping swan there. Okay? Are you serious? And it's tiny. You know that's fitting on a tree, so you know it's not like a big old swan because you can't just stick that on the tree and knock the flipping tree down. So it's this tiny little swan. So you know you're going to with the... Okay, i got to show you this. This is a crochet hook. No, no, no. It's not an over-glorified toothpick. It is a crochet hook. Now, I've been so paranoid about this crochet hook because... <laughs> I have a tendency to accidentally sit on my crochet hooks, you know, they get caught between my couch, I drop them in my car. So, literally, 
this project only will be staying at home because I'm determined this is what I'm going to use. This is what came with it. This is what I'm going to use. Um, I do have a spare once I break it. Okay, so it's okay. Once I accidentally, and you know, <laughs> my husband smiles about this and laughs because he knows it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. We just don't know when. So it'll be a surprise. But he asked if I had another hook just in case for when it happened. And the funny thing was, this is like a really cheapy one that, I don't know, I got a while ago. Um, and it's actually not very comfortable to use. It always cuts into my hand. But, um, yeah, this, come to find out, was the only 2.5 millimeter hook that I have other than the one it came with. So... When I opened this, well actually when I saw a sneak peek from a couple other videos of everyone getting their 2019, they were talking about um, that it's a wreath. And I'm, spoiler alert, so sorry. If you don't want to watch this, cut this off right now. Um, but you may not want to. <laughs> now there's a reason why. Because I got curious because when they said wreath, I was thinking, okay, well, it's an advent calendar, so every day we're going to be asked to do something, and I've, I'm thinking about it because I work, you know, and a lot of you work, and or we just have children, and children are work, families are work, managing a house is work, your pets are flipping work, mine is, mine is, oh my goodness, she's overbearing, um, we actually have to set up her bed in here when we film and make sure she's happy so that she doesn't cause a disruption. Um, so I thought, hmm, a wreath. Well, there's probably some prep for this and I know I can't do it in one day. So, again, if you don't want to see this, please shut your eyes now. But also, if you, if you did get this, my recommendation, highly recommendation, is get an Instagram account because Amanda actually has been posting helpful hints and links to um, Little Box of Crochet website that have been giving updates on how you should do things, you know, and different measurements and stuff like that. So my first mistake was I should have just flipped and opened it and started reading right away. Please, if you haven't, Take a moment and do it, because you're going to want to. Especially once you realize that the box, the outer package that this came in, is actually your wreath base. It's the base. You've got to cut this little booger out. Okay? Thankfully, and we're huge on recycling here in my house, thankfully, my husband ran out of room. Because... <laughs> As soon as I read that portion, I was like, oh my God, where's the box it came in? Oh no! And then I was thinking, well, it'll be fine. I'm sure I can find another box somewhere. But, you know, it was the settlement reasons for it. I wanted to use the same box that was actually shipped to me. So thankfully it was there. But then the next challenge came up. You got to cut this thing out. You got to make it into a nice little circle and... Yeah, this alone, because I'm not that skilled, okay? I don't have a giant um, compass that can do it for me. No, I don't have any of that. So I had to get creative. I don't know if this is what's going to help you, but here was my creativeness for it. I actually took a string, I tied it to this exact pencil, and then I took a pen, I had the cardboard, I stabbed the cardboard <laughs> very aggressively, stabbed it to hold it in place. I had measured out the string, and you may not want to get this detailed. Maybe you just might want to flip a, you know, kind of flip in a circle and you're good. But I have a tendency to be a tiny bit OCD with a couple of things, this being one. So I held the string out and I just poked holes. That was actually kind of therapeutic, though, i got to tell you. I just kept poking holes all the way around, and then I changed the measurement because this had to be a certain, um, I want to say it's five centimeters. And so then I just poked on the outer hole. 
and then I cut it out, trace the other one because I'm not a fool. I didn't, you know, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. Once the one wheel was made, I traced the other one and cut it out. Okay, again, obviously that took some time. I will say if that was day one and I hadn't even crocheted anything, I knew I needed to keep reading and actually see what else needs to be done. So, and then I got a helpful hint from Amanda on the website that, you know, it, it is going to take some time because you're actually crocheting the cover. And this is how far I've gotten. Now, just to let you know, I've been working on this since I got it. And I'm still not done. And truth be told, I don't have any measurements and I don't think I crochet as tight as most people. I'm trying, but my fear is, seriously, I'm going to bust this little bugger. I'm going to snap this thing in two. So I'm trying to be gentle while still being tight and I'm not. Because I will tell you, I have on order, because <laughs> I'm not frogging this, okay? <laughs> this is taking a lot of time to do and I ran out of yarn. Yep, I sure did. I ran out of yarn. I used every last bit of it. As you can tell, I mean, there's very little string left. I mean, there's, there's, here's one. Here's a tiny bit. But I don't have any more of this color. <laughs> so, I do have it on order. Yes, I'm going to finish. I think I still have uh, two rows left. Two and a half rows left. I already have it on order. I decided that, well, I want to make sure... And come to find out, look, it's the same color. So, I'm going to make these stars, <laughs> hopefully. So, I am definitely have ideas of what to use, whatever's left over that I don't use. But, um, I'm not going to frog this. I'm not going to try to re-tighten it or anything like that. I do love the way it looks. And, you know, if it is a little bit too wide or pudgy or whatever... I'm just going to stuff it, literally, I'm going to stuff it and make it fluffier. And I am going to take, she did another helpful hint and she said to use a glue gun. I know some people, I was kind of like, oh no, no, I want to sew everything, I want to make it all, yeah, no, no. I think her idea was great because it allows it to be more three dimensional and that's kind of what I want too. So, I am going to make it easier and do that. My goal is that I will have this done before December 1st or at least I will be at the stage of sewing it and getting it put together. That's my goal. So then I will actually be on time, on track to go to the next step. And then I'll be able to open day two and go on from there. Because I did kind of look at everything. And pretty much everything after that is much smaller projects. So I think those are things that I can get done within a day or so. Or if anything, at least get one or two of them. Because some of the leaves, like you have to make 12 of them. But they're not, they don't look super difficult. So that's the goal. I know I've been talking about this a lot, but again... I like some advent calendars, and I'm really looking forward to this. I'm hoping it helps someone else. If you haven't looked into it a little bit more, open the book. I have not regretted it. I'm glad I did open it in advance. I know some people are like, oh, but it's not December 1st. At least my kids all were. They were like, Mom, it's not December 1st. Well, <laughs> if I waited until December 1st, I think I feel like for me, myself, I would have gotten discouraged, and I would have... Probably, maybe not have given up, but then this would have turned into a year-long project. And I'm trying kind of hard not to make it that. I kind of really do want, on the 25th, to have something that somewhat resembles a possible wreath. We'll see. Not for sure. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh, i got to tell you this. I'm loving this cute little bag. I've been sticking flipping everything in there. Everything that, okay, so you know I've been sick, so I've got my little cough drops and stuff in here, because <laughs> it helps. So, goals for next week, I'm hoping to have witchy 
brew shawl sewn in, blocked, something to show you. I may be even wearing it. And then I'm hoping that I will figure out for my sock here. Okay, it is still one, but I did finish the hill port. Well, not the hill completely, like the bottom of the foot. I guess you slide your foot in this way. This is the bottom of the hill of the foot. I need to, I guess the gusset, I need to get the sides figured out and then I'm just going straight up. So I'm hoping to watch that video. I've watched it, the tutorial for it, um, once already and I think I need to watch it a couple more times because I'm not that fast of a learner with it. So I'm hoping to get some progress, some more progress done with that. Um, <laughs> got to get this done. My goal is to get the lead. Whoopsie. I told you I'm going to end up snapping this order. Oh, it's going to be bad. So hopefully this will be set. I'll feel a little confident about it and not so stressed out because I don't want this to be a stressful project. I want it to be a fun project. And I'm really kind of hoping that my daughters may be, especially like um, Chris, Chrissy who does do crochet with me. I'm hoping she may jump in and do some of the leaves and everything and um, I'm hoping that my daughter May will actually be able to be home and be able to participate as well. My daughter Elizabeth said that she would make cookies and watch and sit and hang out with us but that she probably will not be doing the crochet. I said that's fine as long as we have some family time. I'm good with that. So I'm hoping to have some things accomplished if I have nothing accomplished, hey, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll just sit and chat and gab and have some fun and just not worry about any of it. Ignite. Have fun. Whatever you choose to make or do, feel inspired. Have Watch other people who can inspire you. I'm not saying I'm someone because I'm a little goofy fellow person. <laughs> but... If you find someone who does, yay, enjoy, ignite, get inspired. And it doesn't have to just be with yarn. It's whatever you want to do. Cross stitch. I name them all the time. Who knows? Maybe you want to go scuba diving. Yeah, not me. No, thank you. But if that's what you're interested in, that's what gets you happy, have you be inspired, you go for it. Um... I even like to paint sometimes, I will tell you that. More like finger painting. But hey, it's painting. I like it. So, um, until next time, please be safe. And hope to see you then. Oh, you know, and it's every time I forget. My husband's sister is about to push that button. He goes, ah, like, <laughs> subscribe, like. Hit that bell, the one with the parentheses, and share if you like this. Hope to see you later. Bye-bye.